it's really exciting project for the community because uh, contrary to many biennials and triennials in print media, we are inviting artists to submit larger pieces and have a good representation of what contemporary printmaking practices are. So based off of that, then typically print shows are, are much smaller in scale and we have some examples throughout the exhibition yes. that, that show larger, larger scale productions. Yes, that's what we wanted. And um, we wanted to establish a uh, sort of a tradition of, for the Okanaga people to bring in uh, pieces that uh, add us to contemporary art practices. Now I understand um, that there, there's a historical basis for why um, you collaborated with UBCO and Kelowna Art Gallery in, in the, first, um, the first one, which was launched in 2009. Where did the idea come about for doing the Okanagan Print Triangle? Well, the Okanagan Print Triangle um, came about uh, as a continuation of uh, what used to be called Okanagan Print Invitational. And that was the um, brainchild of, again, Brian Craig and Mary McCullough, uh, who was the professor at the time. And so this uh, Okanagan Print Invitational happened maybe two times and, and it, uh, it was no more. And then um, once I started here as a curator, we were talking with Briar Craig about the possibility of uh, doing something in that way. And we came out with uh, the concept of Okanagan Print Triennial that was to be done every three years. And we partnered up with Kelowna Art Gallery and we kind of host the exhibition every three years. I'm immensely grateful for this exceptional um, exhibition that is happening in Canada. I think it's going to um, not necessarily, and this is not important, grow in size, but I think it's going to grow in importance as one of the premier exhibitions that is out there. So I'm, I'm very excited um, that this opportunity presented itself and that I'm now uh, um, part of this. So thank you, Briar and, and Lubos for this wonderful opportunity. As, as Kelsey stated, I'm, I'm one of the Canadian artists in the Okanagan Print Triennial, and um, it's uh, interesting to uh, uh, have this kind of forum um, for an international print show like Canada. Um, and right now, uh, this is one of the premier ones. I guess I'll thank everyone at the Vernon Public Art Gallery and the people who organize triennial every three years, uh, for Aaron Lugos and everyone else. Uh, you know, I imagine that it's hard work in normal times and 10 times as much work now, but I think it's been very exciting getting to watch some of the tapes of these talks, to look at the art online and in the catalog, and um, sort of find another way of continuing to engage with printmaking in this strange world that we find ourselves in. Also, thank you for your attention. Thank you for the opportunity that you did on my work. I'm really thankful and I'm happy to participate in this. I'm also very happy to be a part of this and I'm really grateful for, for the time and for the, for, for the lovely words that you have said. I'm very happy to be with you. Thank you very much. Thanks to Briar Craig too for having the idea of creating uh, this biennial. And thanks to uh, the uh, Okanagan Print Making Triennial for, for uh, making this event. Even this year, I, I know personally how much work it could be to organize a biennial. And uh, I, I, I cannot imagine how much work it could be especially this year in those uh, pandemic time. It's really amazing time talking with you and it's always great joy to meet new people, even if it is online. But yes. this is a new normal and we, we are getting really accustomed to this a new setting and, and way of 
knowing others. Uh, super excited to see all these wonderful people signing up tonight that I haven't seen in in a long time. Uh, I feel like I could spend this entire time just saying hello to wonderful people that are here tonight. I know in this world where we're on Zoom so much that spending a little bit of your evening on it uh, might be difficult, but it's nice to have lots of people here and some familiar faces and lots of strangers. So that, I guess, makes up for a world without art openings. All arts are connected and we are connected. And um, however isolated we feel once we reach to someone else or to ourselves, we don't feel that isolated. I express my uh, special thanks and gratitude to Lubos and Breyer, the, 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 the masterminds, the, the brilliant uh, creative minds, artists, curator, uh, um, uh, who are the people who started the uh, triennial. Um, uh, as, as Megan pointed out, um, I've had a, a few exhibitions here and there. But I must admit, when I exhibited uh, in Vernon, Canada uh, in 2015 for the first time, I was really excited about that new exhibition. And when Lubos contacted me last year to inform me that the exhibition is moving forward this year, I was beyond excited. In fact, this was the first uh, uh, COVID exhibition that I began to sort of imagine a post-COVID life.